Developer tools are a powerful way to tweak CSS and other changes directly in the browser. So you can inspect something and you can select an element and you can pick the color, for example, and change that around. You can see the live change going on there. You also have all kind of tooling for Flexbox and other things, and all of them with a live preview. The problem is though that none of these things are permanent. So if I actually reload the page right now, all of it is gone again. The other problem is that I probably want to see the whole style sheet and not only one selector. You can do that by clicking these links here and there's an inbuilt editor in the developer tools. It's quite rudimentary though and there's not much space there. So we're wondering how can we make that better? Now, a lot of us are using Visual Studio Code. So why don't we use Visual Studio Code as the editor for developer tools? You can turn it on right now in Canary in the experiments and you can say open source files in Visual Studio Code. Once you close that, it asks you to reload the developer tools and then it actually realizes that I am on a local file. This could be localhost as well or 127.0.0.1 and there's explanations if you need more. But actually what it wants me to do here is set the root folder of that file. You can pick that from your hard drive and then you give the developer tools access to it because we want to write back some files. And then when you click on the link here and you can see from the icon that something changed already, you don't open the sources editor any longer, but you still open a sort an instance of Visual Studio Code with all the files in that folder already open for you. The great thing here right now is that you have a live change as well. So if you now click, for example, the color here and you shift that around, it doesn't only preview it in the browser for you, but it changes the file on the hard drive and it reflects directly here in Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code became your life editor of these changes that you're doing in developer tools. So if I now go to this one here, for example, and I go to the search bar and I click on that link, it opens it in Visual Studio Code as well. And if I now change the Flexbox thing again, it doesn't only show it, but it created the flex direction uh, code here as well for me. This works both ways as well. So if I now delete this here and would save it, it undoes it directly in the developer tools and in the browser as well. So I got a full two-way interactivity of Visual Studio Code and the tools in my browser. You can also change the settings of that. So in the workspace setting, you now have the open source files in Visual Studio Code and you can save DevTools changes to disk. disk uh, you can turn that off so the files don't get changed any longer. And you can also turn that one off to use it in the editor directly. If you delete your workspace as well, that also does the trick. So if you now click on that one again, it would be the editor in the developer tools themselves. But I personally think Visual Studio Code together with developer tools is the better solution.